control of the circumstances of life. That's what we're going to talk about on this Thursday, November the 13th edition of Strength for Today. Sister Lou, you and your family in West Virginia, Kevin, all the family, hope you all are having a great day. God bless you and thank you for tuning in to Strength for Today. Proverbs 21.1, control of the circumstances of life. The king's heart's in the hand of the Lord in the rivers of water. He turneth it whithersoever he will. That's how God's in control of this world. His sovereignty is in control of every circumstance in the political world, the physical world, everything we can think of. God's hand is in complete control. And this very verse tells us he's a puppeteer and we're just... Uh, mere um, marionettes. We're just little uh, dolls playing around. He controls our every move and our every whim. He's pulling down all the strings. and No matter how it looks uh, to us, all the powers and the forces of this world may look like they're in control, but they're not. God is in complete control of the circumstances of life. And you, uh, you cannot control the forces around you. And the raging rivers around you, but God can. And that's where you have to have faith in Him. Revelation chapter 17, verse 17. For God hath put their hearts to fulfill His will, and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of God shall be fulfilled. The word of God is going to be true, no matter what happens. God has a master plan. It's in the word to be fulfilled and unaltered. That plan in and of, its, of the covenants and promises of the Word of God are true. And He is in control, and He will turn this His way, and His time, and His purpose, and His pleasure. We just got to trust Him till the end. He'll not consult with me and you, ever. He'll, uh, we, our bents and our rants and our rages don't mean a thing to Him. But we must surrender to Him and trust Him that He knows what He's doing. And when we trust Him, He leads, He guides, and He directs. And all things work together for good to them that love God and to those who are called according to His purpose. That is your strength for today and your hope for tomorrow.